Uh, I've got a, I've got a little hat on because I can't be arsed like do my hair, so I might pull a little curl through it and it'd just be dead cute, like that. Alright, birds get at me. Just kidding. Right, there's a roll, uh, I've got a fuckload of questions and I'm gonna try and get to like most of them. I don't know though, maybe if it's like decent topics and that, I'll just break that down and have like one video on a specific thing and whatever. Probably gonna skip a few, you know, because some of them are just like boring. So, uh, <clears throat> let's go for the top. How many curls do the girls actually, no, how many girls do the curls actually get? That's a tough one, uh, because, I don't know, how do you actually know what it is that tips the scales? Because sometimes it might be the curls that get the girl, and sometimes it might be the fact that I'm just a sick fuck. So, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'll send out questionnaires and be like, what was it that, you know, co convinced you to uh, get involved with Joey D? Like as many ups and downs, how do you manage to keep positive and stay vibing? Um, hmm, see, I don't really know. Life probably does have many ups and downs, but for me, it's, ma it's mainly ups. Like, I'm a lucky motherfucker. It's not like I'm this guy who's, like, immune to, like, negativity and shit, and I'm like, I'm like, I've had loads of shit happen to me, but I just stay positive no matter what, because I'm sick. I'm, like, actually, like, just a lucky fuck who's never had anything bad happen to him, so, yeah. I mean, probably more lucky than, you know, deserve to be, but so what? It's not, you know... I don't know, maybe one day some shit will happen to me and I'll like fucking fall to pieces and just, like just cry and stuff, but we'll see. Ejecta or bicep, ejecta. How to be aesthetic as fuck, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not you know, you just can maximise your potential. You can't be aesthetic as fuck if you're not born with the genetics to be aesthetic. You just have to maximise your potential, obviously, don't you? Will you marry me? No, not into like marriage and shit. How often do you have a cheat meal? Um, <clears throat> not, uh, I just fit shit into my macros, man. Boring question, sorry. Recommended podcasts for general pursuit of good vibes. I don't actually listen to podcasts, but if you have good ones that you listen to, get the fuck out of me because uh, maybe I'll start, maybe I should. Where did you bring your first girlfriend on your first date? For, I don't know, man. I've been like, I don't know. When does it become a first proper date? Because, you know, I've been meeting girls like at the park when I was like 11 and that. So, I don't know. It's hard to really say, but... Tends to like stay away from like datey type shit a lot of the time because if you call it a date, they put you in the boyfriend box, man. I call it like a rendezvous or an appointment or like something like that or like round one, you know, the way up stage. <clears throat> uh, where did you bring your first? Oh, where, would you turn your forearm tattoo into a sleeve? Maybe I don't know though because I don't want to like lose like definition on my arm and shit. That's why it's like it's like fucking you know strategically placed. It's a bit dry. That needs moisturising. It's like strategically placed in that, uh, because I don't want to like fucking lose definition and shit. Um, word, uh, tips on getting more vascular. Why do you do push, pull legs rather than muscle groups day? Uh, you could split it up muscle groups. You could split up muscle groups as well, but I just find that easier to keep uh, like frequency high. Obviously, if you split muscle groups, Split into muscle groups, but still had a three day split and got around everything, and then it's probably just the same. Thoughts on going on a ketogenic diet? Um, don't fucking do it. Uh, research, just spend some time like researching shit and find out if there's actual evidence that suggests that it's advantageous over a diet of equal caloric deficit, um, including carbs. And I think, I think you'll find that no, it's actually fucking worse. Um, you know, but unless you have any fucking evidence suggests otherwise, in which case I'm, I'm open to it. <clears throat> well, alright, this one's going to go on a separate video. Nah, you know what? Fuck it, I'll do it now. <sighs> nah, I'll do it separate video, okay. Next one. What's your plan of attack for Australia? Uh, we're going to turn up in Sydney on the 15th and then just get the fuck involved. I don't have a plan, I'll just get involved, man. Uh, when are you coming to Ireland? I don't know, I'm waiting for Rob Lipset to fucking get back to me because I said to him, hey bro, When's when when's this shit happening? He's like, yeah, man, yeah, I'm just one of those like lads who like talks about doing shit, but you know, I don't know if I'm actually ever gonna fucking do it. So why don't you like Rob? So you Rob, so you shit out. Get Joey D over to fucking Ireland. Let me know when I get on a fucking plane. You know, do that shit because I'm up for doing stuff. And uh, you know, I'm still waiting on Rob to get back to me, but I feel like it's uh, you know, I'm feeling disheartened about the whole situation. And uh, 
you know, Rob needs me his fucking videos because, you know, let's face it, I'm tidier than him. Rob lips it, official call out, get at me, you fucking nerd. Okay, next one. Aggressive that, wasn't it? It was aggressive. Bum, bum, bum. Would you rather be an ugly genius or a hot moron? I'd rather be an ugly genius, definitely, because... Right, a fucking lot of things, man. Every thing that goes against you physically, or, you know, in terms of appearance, just means that your graft has to be better, man. It just means that you are, more is required of you, you know, there's a lot of fucking pretty girls, man, that have never been required to be anything more than pretty, and hence they have, have no substance and no fucking depth of character whatsoever, because, 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 and it all comes from, fuck, it all comes from, comes from like, guys, you know, I think, I think a lot of it comes from guys, um, just being happy with a girl who's just fit, who's just tidy and just, and like, just being okay with having a girl who's attractive and just sitting across from them in a fucking restaurant and that's it, like, just so they can show off to other lads and be like, yeah, I get this fit girl, you know, and, and, and hence, like, not, nothing's ever required of them and I, I think that, I think in a way, it's easy, it would be easy, I'm not saying every, everyone does this, I'm not saying everyone attractive has no substance or anything, obviously, but it's a lot easier to fall into that, um, you know, if you're not, you know, majorly fucking attractive, you know, it's better because you just, you graft has to be better. Same with, you know, I'm like 5'10", right, I'm probably 5'9 and a half, I fucking don't know, man, because I don't know, but, and like, ideally, you'd, you'd be a couple of inches, a couple of inches taller, wouldn't you, because sometimes I'm out on girls, like, with heels and shit, that's taller than me. But, you know, it doesn't fucking, it's just another thing that you have to fucking overcome, like, you know, and it's good when you do, because I've, like, dated girls who are taller than me and that, and, you know, really, it just feels like, well, you know, people must be looking at you thinking, and, and with anyone who's, like, generally more attractive than, yeah, people attribute, obviously, too much value to bare, you know, aesthetics, don't they? But, you know, they must be thinking, like, if I'm walking down a girl, walking down the road with a girl who's a fucking nine, you know, or a ten, and I'm coming in at like, let's be honest, I can push a seven and a half on a decent day, like, do you know what I mean? But, whatever. You know, they must be looking at us and thinking, this graph must be on fucking point, man. He must have, must have other shit about him, he must have, like, more to him than just his fucking cold and beautiful locks that have fucked up now. Right, I'm gonna end on that note and start another Q&A, because uh, that's pretty long and don't wanna babble for too fucking long. Okay, join me in, uh, well, next time for, well, the second part of this. Okay, see you in a bit.